Hello, my name is Andromeda, and this is my final presentation for my navigation class. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, information that I have learned throughout the chapters, and here we go. Um, so at the end of this video, I'm going to be cutting to me um, critiquing uh, some videos that I have made on pathfinding and pathfinding. pathfinding is basically for robots is an attempt to uh, find the shortest and most like efficient route for a robot to get from point A to point B. Um, so basically the way this, uh, this smart car with, and it's obviously it has a camera everything like this, the way this is coordinated, well, a lot of robots is the way that it's facing is the X um, to the left uh, at a right, um, right angle is the Y. And basically like this is the theta, which is this is what's basically being detect, uh, considered, or this is basically the, the way it's uh, coordinated, sorry. Um, the way the robot is. And so with that, I want to talk about because of this, the, the way it's positioned in, in general. Um, so it has a, a camera, an ultrasonic sensor, and it has a line tracking sensor. Um, the way these work is this um, does uh, basically captures like no, oh, it captures the image and it does something which I believe is convolution. And when it when it's basically maps these images, it it um it shifts it mainly, not necessarily like uh, replacing it, it shifts it, kind of molds it in, compares and contrasts, like there's a lot of algorithms that go within it for it to be moving around and viewing. Um, a lot of this it has its own limitations. It has like it well, it has camera space, basically like our eyes. Like um, as much as we can see, even with our peripherals, that's kind of how a camera works. But um, as far as view, and so they have this um, this camera space. And this is where a lot of the, the see, um, like a lot of image processing algorithms happen for it to be guided. Um, also, uh, what's, let's see, and then there's the ultrasonic sensor. And the ultrasonic sensor sends out uh, ultrasonic waves that basically measures, uh, well, it sends it out and then it um, receives it, and that basically how it detects it. Um, and depending on how it's coded, it, it could detect for so many centimeters in front of it, um, which that could cause it to have limitations. By the way, that that's that's part of its uncertainties and and everything. It's a well, it's a big blind spot, and that's what it is. It's a blind spot. Actually, the camera and the ultrasonic sensor both have blind spots because it's regardless, it like just like with vision, like it only like we can like to a certain extent, some people can only see so far and it's blurry to them. It's kind of the same thing with this with signal. So okay, let's go on with that. And then there's the uh, line um, tracking, the line tracking module, and it sends out infrared um, light to detect different light intensities or like cut like like well, yeah light intensities and basically from that it will determine okay this is the line. Um, uh, uh, what I noticed in my in my uh, well in the videos I'll talk more about it is. Lighting has a lot to do with these because it's so sensitive to light. Um, it, it's what it needs to detect things. So we'll, we'll see that in the, the videos at the end of this. Um, 
let's see what else. So we got that. This also has a manual set. Um, it has an um, IR receiver. I have a remote right here um, where you can guide it up, down, and all that. And and that's that's just one way. But we're we're more on making it go on its own in in this presentation. So let's see. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. So what's cool about cameras is the way that they can determine or like read things is that basically they can break it down to a basic form of an, an image to a basic form. Um, one of the basic forms, I guess that I are, I mean, I'm assuming is our filter is threshold image processing. Um, this basically separates it and gets color and grayscale and pretty much makes it to its binary uh, image, which is black and white. Um, it basically can do that. And there's different ways you can do it. It's just there is not just like one type of image and that's it. There's there's a lot of different ways. So it, it's basically like if you look at the filters. Um, on your phone. That's like a good representation of it where you can mess with the background colors and everything like that. Or actually, uh, Microsoft Word has it to where you can change, do that kind of stuff to you. And it's and that's basically their filters. Um, so we're going to get to the videos because I did uh, I, I did test this robot one with the line tracking and one with the uh, obstacle avoidance uh, mode. And I hope you like them. <laughs> OK, so. Let's look at the videos that we've got here. This is with the line tracking. As you can see, there was already a problem with the distance of the remote and the IR receiver. Um, you have to get closer, so there is a limitation in distance in the receiving and transmitting of the, the remote. Um, right here, and in this actual video too, the, the room was a little bit more dim, so... Um, and then this uh, this uh, stand right here was has a, a, a current on it and and it, it caused a little bit of shadow too so that's what I wondered I wondered in this one so let's go back and then let's see this one okay here it goes again second attempt it just goes off see that wow. shadow I have a feeling it was that shadow and and yeah it was so that that even it, I, I was like, OK, then this this module is really sensitive. Yeah, this it really is uh, sensitive to the light intensities. OK, so. Let's see. All right, third attempt. Um, I moved my uh, stand out uh, way, as you can see, and it nice. made it. There you go. <laughs> it made it, but goes to show um, how much the lighting is important when it comes to line tracking systems. OK. So what I started with this video was I spread out a bunch of boxes with different sizes in to see how it responses. Um, Right here, it's picking it up at a good distance, but boom, saw that blind spot. There is a blind spot on that, the, the left and right sides of like. Um, OK. Yeah, of the. Uh, of the uh, what's it called? Sorry, the robot. So this was actually the successful one. This, like, <laughs> this is the one that that I should have shown you last. Um, um, but. 
I did it again, and then I did it in a more direction. Like, I tried to make it closer. Uh-oh. But when right here, That's it happened, good. right there, see? I feel like there's a blind spot, like, right here. That's the problem, actually. And see? And then it keeps on going, too. So if it's stuck for this long, it should have some type of, like, uh, you know, if it's going for so long, and you're sensing that it's not moving anywhere or or it's or um or something uh it needs to reverse it, it, it or something needs to help sense it and and i have an opinion on that at the very end too and then it gets stuck again right here Okay. <laughs> and then, oh, yeah. Okay. Come on, little dude. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and see, this is another thing. When it gets stuck, it needs to have, like, some type of sensor that can detect that to make it reverse. Because... Because you gotta, you that that you gotta. If you want it to be efficient, you have to make up for the blind spots. See, and this is the last one, and this one I I closed it up a little bit more. Oh, sorry. E. Come on, little dude. Made a direct path. See how it reacts. See, and there, and then, oh man. You got this. You're almost there. There has to be also a sensor for the back. Okay. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. I mean, it 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 it, it stayed but it, within the area, but it did crash. And I feel like there needs to be added sensors in the back for collision purposes. Um, I also, when I said I had something to add at the end with the, I also think there needs to be two cameras in the front or, or at least two ultrasonic sensors in the front for a left, a more range for the left and right to be covered. Um, more detection for sure. And then I would wonder also and add on, um, on how much the the centimeters in, in the in the in the signal detection. Um, another thing I want to uh, for the line tracking. One thing I wanted to also add is like, what if I didn't have that color of of flooring to make it white? And then for obstacle the, the obstacle avoidance pathfinding. Um, it pro what. What I, 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 what I would like to in the future do a test. Well, what if the room was dark? Um, uh, so yeah, that those were that those are my uh, my tests for this uh, path, uh, pathfinding test for this robot. Um, I hope you like them and thank you so much and you have a good day. Bye.